Hey guys, today's video is all about vision and I'm so excited to be able to talk to you about this today. The Lord clearly has been dealing with me in my personal life in terms of vision. And so he led me to share this with you at the start of this year. And when I thought about that, what vision means to me specifically and kind of how God has been dealing with me in terms of vision, I thought, Lord, every year at the start of a new year, people always start with a new year's resolution. And we always talk about this year is going to be better than any other year. I'm going to change my eating habits. I'm cutting things out of my diet. I'm exercising more than I ever have before. I'm getting rid of this poor habit or that poor habit. I'm getting rid of this bad relationship for some of us. And so God had really been dealing with me. So I stopped doing New Year's resolutions a long time ago. But at the end of 2015, I said, Lord, I really want this 2016 to be different than any other year in my life. And I want to be intentional about how this year changes for me. Because I don't know about any of you, but I believe God's got some great promises for my life. And if that's true, that means that there's some work for me to do. So I said, okay, how am I going to be intentional about it? So I went on uh, what I called a, a vision board retreat. And on that vision board retreat, I began to outline some things that I believe God has spoken to me for my life personally. And I broke those things out into categories and I broke it out, uh, broke it out for me. It was faith. It was finances, family. It was career. And I know that the Lord has given me a purpose in ministry and a calling to minister to women. And so that was on my vision board as well. And so I said, Lord, help me with this. And so after that vision board retreat, I went on and I did what I called a vision board planning session. And so I had a list of all these to do's, things that I have to do in order to begin to see these things come to fruition. And I believe that this year, 2016, is not only going to be the greatest year for me, but it's going to be the greatest year for the people that I love, my friends, my family members. And I believe it's going to be the greatest year for you too. But I know in order for that to happen, that we've got to be intentional about it. And there are some things that God requires of us. So when we look at scripture in James 2, beginning about verse 17, and you can read on through that text. Um, but they talk about faith without works being dead. And when we talk about vision, we have to really align that with faith. We have to align that with works and what it is that God has called us to do. If you look up the, de uh, the definition of vision in terms of just a general definition, not related to Christians, just a general definition of vision, it says the act or power of anticipating something that will or may come to be. It's the act or power of anticipating. They not, they're not even thinking about believers in that definition, but it ties to what we believe as believers. So going back to James 2, it says, do you not know that faith without works is dead? We go on to see that Abraham was a true example of that when he offered his son Isaac up unto God just as an act of faith. And so it says through our works, our faith is made perfect. I don't know what it is that you're trusting God for in this year of your life. I don't know what it is that you're believing God for, but I hope that it is something great because we serve a great God. I'm believing that it's something beyond your wildest dreams and your wildest imagination. And if that is true, then ultimately that means that you've got to trust this great big God that we serve to help you to make that thing come to pass. That means that as we read in Habakkuk 2, when we talk about write the vision and make it plain upon tablets so that he may run who reads it, that means you first have to have the vision. If you don't know what it is that God wants you to do, if you're not sure what God wants you to be doing in this season of your life, in this year of your life, then you should be praying and you should be seeking the Lord and asking God, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? Give me a vision so that I can write it upon tablets and make it plain. But that scripture goes on to say, and we're in verses two and three, it says the vision awaits for an appointed time. It hastens until the end. It will not lie. If it is slow, wait for it, for it will surely come. 
That is a promise that the Lord gives to us. Any vision that God gives to you, he's saying it's not going to come in your time. It will come in his divine time. But even though we're waiting for God's divine time sometimes, we have to know that there is work and there are things to be done on our behalf. Do you not know that faith without works is dead? If you plan to live out that vision and the calling that God has for you, maybe it's in your career, maybe it's in terms of your family, maybe God's revamping some things in terms of your business or your relationships, whatever that vision is that God has given you, he said, I've given you the vision. Now there's some work for you to do. What are you going to do with it? We can't just sit idly by and wait for things to happen. God is a great God and he's going to do great things, but he wants you to put your money where your mouth is. Put your arms and your legs and your feet in motion. And when God tells you to move, he wants to know that you will move and that you will trust. Even if that thing doesn't look like it's coming to pass when I thought it was going to, if it doesn't seem to be happening in my time, Habakkuk 2 and 2 and 3 tells us that even though it may be slow, it will surely come. That's not my promise. That's the promise of God. And so as we think about 2016, is this your blessed year? I believe so. Is this your best year? I believe so. I know that it's mine and I claim it for your life as well. And so I encourage each one of you to seek out the Lord. Find out what that vision is. What is that great God idea, that big God thing that God wants to do in your life? And how can you get busy? Remember, vision talks about the act or the power to anticipate something that will or may come to be. And if we're visionaries, we can trust in our Lord that it will definitely come. I'd like to pray with those of you who are currently seeking the Lord for vision. And so as we pray, Lord, we just ask you right now that you would come into our hearts, that you would come into our minds, that you would give us your ideas, that you would give us your thoughts for us, not what we will and not what we desire. We desire for our desires to be yours. We desire for our thoughts to be your thoughts, your ways to be our ways. We expect great things in 2016, but we can't do without you. So we seek your face. We seek the power that you've given us through your word. And we claim and hold true to your promises. We are your visionaries. And we believe those visions shall manifest in our life in this year. We thank you in advance. We come with the praise upon our lips for the things that you shall do. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you staying um, on me on this video today and with me on this video today. I can't wait to see the great things that God will do in your life. Please share your stories with me. Feel free to comment, like, and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. God bless you.